Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Q, and today we'll be taking a look at screenshots and skin showcases. What is an inspect server? How do you connect to one? And how can you make your screenshots stand out from the rest? We'll be answering all those questions and more right after a sponsor. This video is sponsored by myself. You heard that right, bitch. I'm my own sponsor. Wicked Trade is a CS2 and TF2 community owned by me where you can trade, buy, and sell your in-game items with other people. Chat with the skin enthusiast community, participate in giveaways, and trade for profit using my link in the description below. Thanks to Wicked Trade for sponsoring this video. What is an inspect server? An inspect server is an in-game community server designed to allow players to generate, test, and inspect weapon skins. There are many providers for these types of servers, but the most popular option is by far Epidemic. So let's get started. First step is to boot up your Counter-Strike 2 and navigate to your settings menu. Select the game tab and locate the setting that says enable developer console. Make sure this is set to yes. Then select the keyboard slash mouse tab and select the UI keys sub tab. Locate the setting that says toggle console and just bind it to any key of your choosing. Once you've done this, you may return to the CS2 home screen and open the console by pressing the button you bound it to. You should now see this gray box on your screen. Feel free to resize it to any size you like. This is your in-game console. You can use this to execute special commands. Let's use it to connect to an inspect server. Epidemic has multiple servers online as of the time of recording this video, each dedicated to a different map. You can find a list of servers and maps in the description. For this example, we'll connect to the Memento server, since it's one of my favorites. So in the console, we'll type in connect space memento dot epidemic dot gg and press enter. This will connect you to the desired game server. Once in game, we'll use the server's dedicated chat plugins to generate some skins. So let's find some. I'll alt tab out of the game and go to my friend's inventory. I'll find an item that I want to check out, then right click the inspect in game button and press copy link address. Now go back to the game, open the in game chat and type exclamation point I, then leave a space and paste the inspect link by pressing Ctrl and V at the same time. Then press enter. As you can see, I'm now using the item in game. This works for weapons, knives, and agent skins. Now it's time to make the best screenshot possible. Let's start by opening the console and typing CL underscore draw HUD space false and press enter. As you can see, the heads up display is now gone. While this is already good enough to make some decent screenshots, let's take it a step further. Open the console and type CL underscore lock underscore camera space true and press enter. The camera is now locked to the last position it was in, while your character can move freely. You can use this to get really detailed close ups of your skins. It takes a little practice moving your character around, but when you get the lighting and the angle just right, it makes all the difference. So if you're looking for still images to show off your skins, you should now have all the knowledge you need to make it happen. But why stop there? We can take it a step further and make some animated showcases. For this, we'll need a third party recording software. I personally use OBS. It's free and open source. While I won't be running you through the setup process for OBS, I have linked a separate video in the description. Once you've got your recording software ready, get your character into the position that you'd like, start recording, and play out your animation, whether it's a regular inspect animation or a special animation such as removing the silencer off of the M4A1S. Once you've gotten all the footage you need, which should be pretty minimal, stop recording, and exit out of both the game and OBS. Then you want to go to onlinevideocutter.com, I've put a link to this in the description, and here you can drop in your video to shorten it or crop it to an appropriate length. Once the video has been shortened, download it and go to easygif.com. On this website, you'll be able to convert that downloaded video into a GIF file. And just like that, you are officially a screenshot pro. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, I'll be happy to answer them. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing, it helps a bunch, and I'll see you next time. Bye!